Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about Mendel's dihybrid cross and laws of inheritance. If you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. So to understand Mendel's dihybrid cross, first we will check the cross. Yes. So Mendel crossed pea plants that had yellow colored that is capital Y capital Y and round shaped that has capital R capital R seeds and plants that had green colored that means small y small y and wrinkle shaped that means smaller smaller seeds to study the inheritance of two genes and these are the gametes which are produced from these two parents so one gamete contains capital R capital Y that is coming from this parent and the other gamete contains small r small y that is coming from this parent so the cross pollination resulted in yellow colored and round shaped seeds so capital R smaller capital Y small y so it is found in F1 generation thus yellow color was dominant over green and round shape was dominant over wrinkled so Mendel then self pollinated the F1 plants so this is the self pollination that is happening here so the self pollination resulted in uh, 9 round yellow, 3 round green, 3 wrinkled yellow and 1 wrinkled green seeds in F2 generation. So this is called Punnett square. Punnett square and I hope you know that how we can form the uh, gametes so four gametes are produced from this parent and four gametes are produced from this parent so first gamete contains capital R capital Y second gamete contains capital R small y third gamete contains smaller capital Y and fourth gamete contains smaller small y uh, same we can find in this parent also these four okay and then we made this cross and we found this result so you can write four gametes here and other four gametes here and then you can make this Punnett square and from here we can see that the phenotypic ratio in F2 was 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. So we got 9 round yellow, 3 round green, 3 wrinkled yellow and 1 wrinkled green seeds. And if we want to see the genotypic ratio in F2, it was 1 is to 2 is to 2 is to 4 is to 1 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 1. How we got it? We got it from this. So we have 1 capital R capital R capital Y capital Y, 2 capital R capital R capital Y small y, 2 capital R small r capital Y capital Y, 4 capital R small r capital Y small y, 1 capital R capital R small y small y, 2 capital R small r small y small y, 1 small r small r capital Y capital Y, 2 small r small y capital Y small y, 1 small r small r small y small y from this we can make the genotypic ratio in this f2 generation okay now uh, let's see the text so i have explained all of these no need to explain again okay now since the capital r smaller capital y small y plant so this we found in the f1 generation so this plant 
is having capital S small or capital Y small Y, it is heterozygous for genes controlling two characters, right? One character is color and one is shape. So hence, the cross between capital R capital R capital Y capital Y and small R small R small Y small Y, it is a dihybrid cross because di means two and obviously this is the hybridization cross. So, it is called dihybrid cross since two genes are involved here. One gene is maintaining the color and other gene is maintaining the shape. Now, based on his uh, observations or you can say based on his experiment on dihybrid cross, Mendel proposed this third law. So, in our last lecture, we have talked about his first and second law and in this lecture, we will talk about the third law. So, the third law is called law of independent assortment and this law states that when two pairs of traits are combined in a hybrid, segregation of one pair of characters is independent of the other pair of characters. Okay, so let us explain this law. So, this is one pair of traits and this is other pair of traits. Now, this pair controls shape of seed. It would be round or it would be wrinkled and this pair controls color of the seed. So, it would be yellow or it would be green. Now, each parent produces four kinds of gametes that we can see here four kinds of gametes each parent is producing. So, each gene contains two alleles, right? One gene has capital R and smaller alleles and the other gene has capital Y and small y alleles. So, from the previous law of Mendel, we have seen both alleles get segregated during gamete formation. So, among four gametes, two receive capital R alleles, these two, and two receive small r alleles, these two. Similarly, let us change the color. Uh, similarly, these two receive capital Y alleles and this to receive small y alleles. Now, R and Y alleles could be segregated randomly and independently. Therefore, capital R and capital Y alleles remain together in this gamete. In this gamete, capital R and small y alleles stay together. Again, in this gamete, smaller allele is found with capital Y allele and here smaller allele is with small y allele. That means capital R, let me write it here, capital R can stay with capital Y or small y and small r can stay with capital Y or small y. So, all four combinations are found together. Therefore, Mendel stated that when two pairs of traits are combined in a hybrid, segregation of one pair of characters is independent of the other pair of characters. So, R is independent of Y. So, this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. If you want to get the PDF notes of this topic, please check the first pinned comment or the description box. Thank you.